If we're wanting to use Blender to write out our instant static mesh locations for Unreal, we will have to write a exporter that will go through our objects and store the location, rotation, and scale of each item in some sort of data table or spreadsheet that Unreal could then load, read in, and instance our mesh to those locations. So first of all, what we're going to have to do is capture or grab our selection here of these objects, or whatever objects we have. And we're going to have to take those objects, loop through them, and output as translate, rotate, and scale values into some sort of spreadsheet or data table. And we can start doing this in Blender uh, using Python in the script editor. So we can go here to scripting at the top, and we'll see our viewport here. We'll have our, our code here, where if we don't have uh, a file, you can pretty much just uh, click New and create a little file here to start typing code into. And we'll be using Python. Um, so right away we can start coding and you can write your code in here, but I'm going to be using uh, Visual Studio Code just because it has uh, a much better looking interface um, with better syntax highlighting, which will make it easier to read. Uh, but you can definitely do this in, in Blender as well. So if I open up Visual Studio Code, I'll be able just to create a new file. It's going to be a Python file, and I'll start writing our code to create this exporter for Blender. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is import, oops, import BPY, which will give us access to all the Blender information and commands uh, from Python. And then we can also import CSV because we're going to be exporting a data table or spreadsheet or a comma separated values uh, file where each column will be kind of treated as um, data separated by commas. So each comma will pretty much act as a, a different column. So that's going to allow us to write out those files very easily. And what we have to do now is get our selection in Blender. And to do that, we'll create a variable called selection. And we will put inside that variable a, a bit of a, a kind of loop. So object for object in bpy.context.selected underscore objects. If the object type is a mesh, then we're going to have it stored in the list. So that's just going to filter out meshes and, and loop through the objects and store it as that variable called selection. Next, we'll write our a list with our, our columns. So we're going to have a blank column just for the, the line number, um, and then a column that's ID for an ID of the object or the, the instance location. And then we're just going to have TX for transform X, TY for transform Y, TZ for transform Z. And same thing for rotate X, rotate Y, rotate Z. And also scale X, scale Y, scale Z. And that's pretty much everything. That's all the, the data we need. And then what we're going to do is create an open up file for writing. So we're going to do with open, we'll open up a file where that will be. Maybe we'll do like C ISM exporter. That, that should work. And we will call the file maybe data.csv. And then we'll write. And we'll write a new line. Let's do a new line. And we'll write this as F for our file. And we'll create a writer. So writer equals CSV writer F. There we go. And writer dot, we're going to write out our first row, which is just going to be our columns, like the, the listing or the labeling of the columns. And then we're going to loop through our selection. So for index or IDX, object in enumerate selection. So we're going to loop through a selection. And we'll create a variable called data, which will store the data that we're going to write out. And then we'll append data to that list or that 
yeah, that list here that we're going to write the data to. So we're going to append our row. It's index. It's just going to be the same number. Uh, we're going to need a blank column. Otherwise, Unreal is not going to like the file or like the spreadsheet too much. So we're just writing it twice because we just need a, a spare column. And then we're going to write out the actual data that is important. We're going to write out the object location x, y, and z for each one of the objects it loops through. Same thing for rotation. So rotation, Euler, x, y, z. And then also scale. So write out the object scale x, y, z. And that's pretty much it. And then we'll have to write out all those data because right now we're we're just appending all this data to this variable. We haven't actually written it out. So now I have to write out that row of all that data. So we're gonna do writer, write row data. And it's gonna write out all that data. And once you write out that row, since uh you know if we go to the next row or use the script again. We don't want information left behind, so we're just going to delete our data after we write it out. And that's pretty much it. That gives us our, our code for exporting our locations for our instant static meshes from Blender. So if we take all this code and I go back into Blender, paste it in here, and we give it a try. We have our object selected here. And we run this. Let's see if our file will export. So if I go to that location, it's empty. I run this. Oh, let's see. What did it fail on? And check the script editor. So maybe we just spelled something wrong or did something wrong. It's going to highlight this. So if I take a look at this object for object in BPY dot concepts. Ah, okay, I've got it. Dot concept. Instead of select objects, it's bad mistake here. Selected objects. And that's that's the error that I had. So if I run this now, so for the selection, it needs to be object for object in BPY dot context dot selected objects. And if that object type is a mesh, okay. That's good. So we're going to run this. Looks like that ran. And if we take a look, there's our data file that we just wrote out. And if we open it up, we can see here's all the rows and columns with the info stored. So row for the nut row of the number, the ID row. Translate X, Y, Z, rotate X, Y, Z, scale X, Y, Z. And it wrote that out for all those cubes that we had placed here. So that all works. So now we have an exporter that writes out the locations of our objects in a spreadsheet or a data table, which next we'll be able to read or parse and load it into Unreal and use Unreal to read that file and instance our meshes to those locations so we can have instant static meshes and be able to do all the building and placing of those instant static meshes in Blender instead of doing it in Unreal.